Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. And whoa, let me tell you, I was just about to go on a major rant. As you do when you get an orchid that has taken you four years to get to bloom, and then it turns out it is not what you bought. And my major rant, I will probably get into that as well, but not with the tone of voice that I had initially, because when I put this orchid into the viewfinder and I'm looking at it through the camera, I love her. I've changed my mind. So let me just get back to what I actually wanted to discuss with this orchid. First of all, if you can identify this orchid for me, I would very, very much appreciate it. She has been opening her blooms now for the last 10 days, two weeks, very, very slowly. So here's her history. Just to give you an idea, I bought her as Oncidium varicosum variety Bolden. I wanted the yellow dancing lady blooms, but with the more dark speckles contrasting markings around what the variety Bolden would provide. That is what I bought her as. And slowly but surely, she has been growing a little bit more substantial, more structures, because all I got was a few little pseudobulbs that are now leafless in the back, plus a major slug infection. So she struggled for quite some time to build some bulk. And this is her first spike. So I'm very pleased that I got this orchid to bloom, because every once in a while I thought, um, Will I be the only one with an orchid that is a non-bloomer? But no, here she is. Imagine my disappointment then when I did not get my beautiful yellow dancing lady blooms with the black or the dark, dark contrasting colors. And I'm seeing something like this. And on top of that, in reality, the blooms look a little bit meh. Here in the viewfinder, they pop. There is a contrast here of the vintage pink with that beautiful lip. And I'm seeing this orchid for the first time with a different eye. But I was actually in quite the foul mood when she opened her blooms and I was livid because, you know, four years later, do you go back to the seller and say, um, excuse me, first of all, you know, you never replied to when I complained about the state of the orchid and that you sent it to me with a slug infestation that perpetuated itself during shipment. But on top of that, she's mislabeled. Can I please have a replacement? You know, this is the conundrum we have as orchid growers if we cannot pick the orchid ourselves. We just have to live in faith and trust and believe. But then the disappointment comes four years later. There is no return policy. <laughs> so to speak, in the orchid hobby, at least not where I'm at here in Europe, in southern Spain. Anywho, eBay seller, lesson learned. Of course, I never bought from him again. So that was my rant right there, frustrated to the core. And on top of that, I have always said that I don't care if an orchid turns out to be mislabeled because at the end of the day, an orchid that blooms is so welcome in my collection. And then I had to eat some humble pie there and think, no, hang on, disclaimer, this is the orchid that even though it has bloomed, I don't like it. I'm mad. I don't like this orchid. Besides, who is she? So I thought, okay, let me get more acquainted with her. I went to Google, got the Google out, and I typed in miniature Oncidium species pink blooms. I was inundated with twinkle blooms. I'm like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. So I kept trying to refine my search and nothing came up to give me any hint as to who this little one may be. So when you're in a conundrum like that, who do you call? Not the Ghostbusters, but Michael McCarthy. So in desperation, I was like, Ugh, Michael, can you help? Because I am done seeing twinkle blooms on my screen. What am I looking at? Who is she? So he came back with an answer and thank you so much, Michael, for doing that for me. Gave me a heads up on the possibilities that this orchid is not a species. It could be parentage of Eonopsis, Rhodromnia, possibly Oncidium. There could be Oncidium in Curvum in here. So I went with those options and continued with my Google and I still haven't come up with a result. So not only is she not something that I wanted or bought, secondly, I wasn't hip about the blooms when they opened. And thirdly, I still don't have an identity. So the frustration level was just building and building and building. And that is when I thought, okay, I'm gonna put her into the viewfinder, I'm gonna hit record and have a good old rant. And then I saw what I'm seeing through the camera lens and I'm going, oh, she's gorgeous. 
Oh, she's so cute. And maybe this is how I'm gonna get enamored with my little no ID orchid, because this looks pretty. She's delicate. So far, she's pretty long lasting. And I do like the little vintage rose pink contrasts with her white lip and the little white arms that come out on the side. I do like what I'm seeing here in the viewfinder. And maybe with that visual, I am going to start liking my little no ID orchid. So I'm really glad I could change the tune of my initial approach to this video because I'm so much more chill now, promise. But let's go back to the identity. The reason I think that this little orchid is a species, and again, I could be completely wrong, is because of her growth habit. This is not a hybrid, in my opinion, Oncidium type orchid. You can see a single leaf coming out as a suitable. You can see that one bracked leaf is a bit larger than the second one there on the right. It all screams species at me. She is also not as fast a grower as I would consider Oncidium hybrids to be. These attributes have given me the thought all this time that this is a species, and that is why I kept Googling species. Now, I do see big similarity to an Eonopsis popcorn haruri, whereas popcorn haruri is so much more brighter in her colors. So what is in her mix? What is in her parentage if this is a hybrid that makes her sort of fade away and become a little bit more of a washed out watercolor Eonopsis popcorn haruri style orchid? And she definitely doesn't have the climbing habit of a popcorn haruri. So that's where I'm also looking at. She is not a climber. She is beautifully wedged in there. You could say like twinkle, kind of. And that's when I went into all the parentages of the twinkles to see if any of them have blooms that have any semblance of these. Because her bulbs are also very, very tight, similar growth pattern, but again, so much slower. I can get two growths out of this one per season. So that also resembles a twinkle kind of growth habit. But of course, you can see one bloom spike. And of course, I'm taking into consideration this is her first time to bloom for me. Maybe the next blooming will give me the vigor of colors and the delicacy of what I'm seeing in the viewfinder because to the naked eye, this is not what she looks like. She is very, very washed out. It's like somebody has taken a piece of paper, splashed it with water, and now we're gonna paint. That's what she looks like. And she has absolutely no fragrance either. Not that that bothers me. I am not the one that insists on a fragrance. So, you know, if we're gonna compare like with Twinkle's growth habit and suitables being very, very compact, looking for that angle of a parentage in the Twinkle family, there is absolutely no fragrance to this orchid either. And that is not because currently I'm a little bit congested. Trust me, I smell everything and I taste everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, can't even lose weight when I'm ill. So hey ho, <laughs> that's my luck. But yeah, no fragrance. And because of her tiny little pseudobulbs, her growth habit, I'm thinking she's a species. Again, could be totally wrong. However, I would like to ask you, do you know who she is? And if you do, would you let me know as well so I can change her tag and get it right? Otherwise, from here on in, she will be my little Oncidium no ID. And I want to thank you very, very much for giving it a go and giving me a heads up. And if you are not sure about it either and you decide to share this video with everybody that you know that grows orchids, maybe we can get kind of a thread going out there because in order for me to really, really bond with her, it would help to have a name. All little things will help so that I can accept this orchid in my collection and get over my disappointment that it is not a varicosome variety Bolden. I appreciate your help in advance. Thank you. And also for watching. Thank you so much. I hope that you're having a great weekend. Of course, I'm gonna attach a condition to that, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.